hello guys in today's video I'm gonna go over how we can add subtract multiply or divide in scientific annotations like the numbers those are expressed in scientific annotations like how we can add them or subtract them so these problems are from like eighth grade math and I'm gonna go over a couple of problems on all the operations over here so let's look at problem number one uh, these two problems are from like how we can add these scientific notations so first problem is 4.02 into 10 raised to power 3 plus 2.02 into 10 raised to power 3 how to add these two numbers so the easiest way or the simplest way is like first of all look at what is the power of 10 over here so both have same powers if the powers are same in both of them you just add these two numbers and that'll give you 4.02 plus 2.02 and 10 raised to power 3 is common in both of them so I took it out so when you add them this will give you 6.04 into 10 raised to power 3 that's it so see what we did if you see the power is same just add these two number and write down the power in multiplication with them so 6.04 multiply by 10 raised to power 3 so this is the easy one when the power is same now look at the second one over here so in this one same problem but the second number have power 10 raised to power 2 so both the powers are different so what we need to do over here first of all we need to make these two powers equal to each other so different ways to do it so what we're we gonna do over here 4.02 10 raised to power 3 and I'm gonna change this power to 3 so what I need to do I need to if I want to make it 10 raised to power 3 that means I need to multiply this number by 10 but we can't do that if we multiply it by 10 I need to divide it by 10 too so that the number stays the same if you just multiply it by 10 then this number will change okay so to keep the number same we're gonna multiply by 10 and at the same time we're gonna divide it by 10 so what will happen what will happen over here when you multiply this 10 raised to power 2 by 10 this will become 10 raised to power 3 and when you're gonna divide this 2.02 by 10 it will become point 202 into 10 raised to power 3 make sense so now if you look at these two number have the same power over here so now just add this number to this one which will give me 4.222 into 10 raised to power 3 that's it so the other way you can remember it if you are increasing this power by 1 then move this decimal to the left one time that's what we did over here so we increase the power by 1 and we move the decimal to the left by 1 okay but the math behind is just multiply by 10 and divide by 10 when you multiply by 10 this will become 3 and you're gonna divide this number by this 10 over here will give you 0.202 okay now let's do some problems on subtraction and I'm gonna use the same numbers okay so first of them is in subtraction same number 4.02 10 raised to power 3 minus 2.02 into 10 raised to power 3 so this one this one 
is basically again the power of 10 is same so in as we did in addition we just added the number in this one the powers are same the power of 10 is same in both of them we are gonna subtract these two numbers which will give me 4.02 minus 2.02 into 10 raised to power 3 and when we subtract them this gives me 2 into 10 raised to power 3 okay now let's do another problem in which the powers are not same so 4.02 10 raised to power 3 minus 2.02 10 raised to power 2 so what we're gonna do in this case again first of all we need to make this power also 10 raised to power 3 okay so rule was again I want to increase it by 1 so I'm gonna just multiply it by 10 and gonna divide it by 10 or increase it by 1 and move the decimal to the left so this will give me 4.02 10 raised to power 3 minus 0.2 2.202 see I moved the decimal to the left by 1 and I'm gonna increase the power by 1 okay now both the numbers uh, sorry both the powers the 10 raised to power are same now just do the subtraction so 4.02 minus 2.02 into 10 raised to power 3 and that is going to give me uh, 3.818 into 10 raised to power 3 all right and now let's do uh, problems on uh, multiplication and subtraction I'm gonna use the same numbers again okay I'm gonna go to the next page over here I'm gonna make a divider over here and get rid of this so let's do uh, multiplication over here okay multiplication of scientific notation okay so i'm gonna use one problem here again the same number 4.02 10 raised to power 3 gonna put in parenthesis multiplied by 2.02 10 raised to power 3 okay same concept okay so in multiplication just multiply all the numbers so 4.02 I'm gonna multiply it by 2.02 then I'm gonna write 10 raised to power 3 into 10 raised to power 3 so i'm going to multiply these number with each other and 10 raised to power with each other okay so this will gives me 8.1204 and here we're going to use the property of how to uh, multiply the exponent so they both have same base that means we're going to just add the power so 3 plus 3 therefore this can be written as 8.1204 into 10 raised to power 6 let's do second problem so 4.02 10 raised to power 3 multiply by 2.02 10 raised to power 2 okay so remember in addition and subtraction we want to make the power same but not in multiplication okay just multiply them so same thing 4.02 multiplied by 2.02 multiply by 10 point 10 raised to power 3 and 10 raised to power 2 and when we multiply these two number gives me 8.1204 into so same base just add the power so it is going to be 3 plus 2 okay and this will give me 8.1204 
into 10 raised to power 5. Now let's say if this 2 was a negative over here, then 3 minus 2, basic uh, rules of uh, adding the exponents or subtracting the exponents, okay. Let's do the division problem over here. So, dividing scientific notation division. So, I'm going to use same problem again. So, I got 4.02 into 10 raised to power 3 and divide it by 2.02 into 10 raised to power 3. Okay. Let's do so. Can be written as 4.02 10 raised to power 3 divided by 2.02 10 raised to power 3. Okay, so when we divide 4.02 by 2.02, gives me 1.99 and something. So I'm going to write it up to 1.99 into 10 raised to power 3 into 10 raised to power negative 3. You remember, if exponent is in the uh, denominator, if you bring it to the numerator, the sign of the power, the sign of this exponent will change. And 1.99 into 10 raised to power, see, same base, just add or subtract the exponent. So give me 1.99 10 raised to power 0 which is basically 1 so answer is 1.99 now let's do one more in this case I'm gonna change the 10 raised to power 3 and divide it by 2.02 and 10 raised to power 2 let's see okay and what we're gonna do over here same thing again so 4.02 10 raised to power 3 divided by 2.02 10 raised to power 2 okay we're gonna divide these numbers gives me 1.99 and this number on the top stays the same and we're gonna bring this to the top so when we bring this to the top or to the numerator the sign will change, the sign of this power will change, it will become negative 2. So this gives me 1.99 into 10 raised to power 3 minus 2. Same base again. 1.99 10 raised to power 1. Alright, so that's how we can multiply and divide our scientific notations the numbers expressed in scientific notations okay so in this one we did addition and subtraction one more time if the powers are same just add these two number and write the power in the multiplication like this if the power of 10 is not same we like to change that to 3 over here so basically multiply by 10 or divide by 10 and if it was 4 and this was 2 then I have to multiply by 100 and divide by 100 and I need to move decimal two times because I want to increase the power by 2 number here so in this one I want to change it by only 1 so 2 to 3 I'm gonna move it only one time all right I hope you guys will like the video and share it with your friends subscribe to the channel Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.